Hi, I'm Saira Kuri, and in today's video, I'm going to share great ideas to design a small dining room taking advantage of every inch. A small dining room can be as beautiful as a large one. You can use your creativity to get the most out of your dining room while making it stylish. If you are new here, welcome to our design community, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell because you can't miss the upcoming design lessons. Okay, are you ready to learn some concepts? and visual tricks that designers use to enhance a small dining room, let's get started. Choose the right dining table. The first decision to make is about the dining table. We must study the dining room and its dimensions to determine what shape and size is ideal for our case. Round tables are a classic in small spaces because they can gather more guests than the square option and the curved shape makes the room look much more organic, fluid, relaxed and spacious. Even better if the round table has a central base or leg because it provides much more comfort and and zero obstacles between chairs, which facilitates the organization and movement of people. At the same time, visually, it feels much lighter. Also, round tables create a more intimate and pleasant atmosphere that promotes sharing because people can see each other and interact more easily. Look at this beautiful small dining room. It's cozy and pleasant. This table is ideal for small dining rooms because of its round shape and the central support structure. Notice how light the dining table feels in space. If you need more seatings and your space is narrow and rectangular, oval tables are an excellent option. Oval tables are as functional as rectangular, but their curved shape gives the space the same softness as round tables. Like round tables, oval tables with a support structure in the center are more comfortable and visually lighter. On the other hand, if your space is tight, you can opt for folding tables that you can adapt to special occasions or opt for tables that you can fold and attach to the wall. When you don't need it, you close it and that's it. It's the perfect solution for spaces where having a dining room is almost a luxury. There are many options and the best one will depend on the dimensions and shape of your space. If the room dimensions and shape allow you, you can opt for rectangular tables, but make sure that you're able to circulate and use the dining room comfortably. Before buying your dining table, measure your space, measure the table you intend to purchase, and make sure you leave enough space between the chairs and behind to move around. Regardless of your style, bet on simple and light structures. Heavy furniture, solid design, and dark colors are not the best option for small dining rooms. Combine your chairs and make them multifunctional. After the table, we must think about the chairs. Something that I love about small dining rooms and that I find very cute is being able to play with the chairs. Not all the seats have to be the same shape or color. Combining different chairs creates an authentic space. This gives you the versatility of using your chairs in another area for an activity without it looking like a dining room chair. When choosing your chairs, make sure they feel light and are easy to move or rearrange. It's essential that you can see through the chairs so that the space feels lighter and more dynamic. If you opt for upholstered chairs with high backs, it will make the room look more crowded. Sometimes the space is so small that we have no other option but to occupy a part of the circulation area. In these cases, it's an excellent idea to use low stools or benches that can be stored under the table when they are not being used. Look at this dining room that partially blocks the circulation area. In this case, these simple but versatile wooden benches can be placed under the table when it's not being used or even taken to the living room when needed. They look beautiful and stylish, have a light visual weight, and are very functional considering the space condition. This mixture of pieces give 
charm to small dining rooms. When choosing seats, consider the decoration and style of your adjacent spaces and the color palette you already have at home. Use hanging or wall lamp to create a bold statement. The perfect complement to a dining room is a beautiful lamp, but choose a piece that doesn't clutter the space. If the height allows it, go for an impressive but simple lamp or chandelier. This is a great way to accentuate the vertical lines of the space, drawing our eyes upward and creating a feeling of openness. You can use a pendant lamp with a natural fiber lamp shape, a delicate chandelier, contemporary lamps with a sculptural structure and glass globes, Japanese origami lamps, or any other option that fits your interior design style. The lamp should be centered above the table. It shouldn't exceed the table's length. Leave at least a six inches margin from both ends of the table to the edge of the lamp. Leave 30 to 35 inches from the bottom of the lamp to the tabletop to avoid blocking vision or having an accident. If you don't have the height for a ceiling lamp, Following these measurements, another option is to use wall lamps that can be extended. I love the asymmetrical volumes and authenticity that this option creates. Also, it's an excellent idea if your dining room is in a corner or there is no electrical outlet in the ceiling. Building seats. A great solution in small dining rooms is to have seats that are part of the architecture. It makes a small dining room look warm and intimate. You can take advantage of customized furniture to have hidden compartments. You can choose to build a bench with built-in storage and decorate it with cushions or use a piece of natural wood and put baskets under it. You can take advantage of a corner or window to design your customized bench. Combining the built-in bench with chairs in wood or other material is a dream. The dining room looks stylish and relaxed, which you can even decorate with cushions to add patterns, textures, or accent colors. Also, it's a versatile option that fulfills the function of a dining room without literally looking like a dining room. Especially when your dining room shares the space with the living room or kitchen, making the area much more interesting while maximizing every inch. Add a tall plant. Don't forget to bring some nature to your dining room. Apart from a simple central arrangement with some natural branches, flowers, or leaves, an excellent option is to liven up a corner with a tall plant. Apart from giving color, movement, and texture, it accentuates the space height, drawing the eye upward. When choosing your plant, choose one that is tall and narrow to emphasize the height and doesn't interfere with the circulation of the room. Also, don't forget to complement your plant with a planter or a natural fiber basket to add warmth and style to your dining room. Maximize the space with blinds. In very small dining rooms, curtain panels can be too overwhelming. Therefore, opting for blinds can be an excellent option. Blinds are functional as they are easy to clean and maintain and can be opened wide to enjoy natural light. There are many materials and styles for blinds, ranging from fabrics, plastic, wood or natural fibers, to blackout, pleated blinds and so much more. Choose the one that suits your style and color palette. If your dining room is not so small and you prefer curtain panels, mount their rod or rail as high as possible and opt for light and durable fabrics that you can wash at home. If you want to know more about curtain panels, such as how much fabric you need, the length, how and where to stall the rod, etc., I recommend that you watch this 
video. There you'll find everything you need to know to have spectacular curtains. I'll leave the link up here and in the description box below. Create a focal point. Having a focal point in the dining room is a great way to create a bold statement. To achieve it in a small dining room, you can follow different elements and ideas. Let's see some of these and how to implement them correctly. Use wallpaper to add movement and authenticity. The important thing when selecting wallpapers is to choose colors that don't create high contrast and use patterns and textures with a scale appropriate to the space. Avoid geometric patterns. Better opt for organic shapes, vertical lines, or compositions that gives a three-dimensional effect, which visually increases the perspective and depth to the space. Look at this example. The wallpaper is not disruptive. It allows uniformity in the space thanks to its color while adding authenticity and movement. As the trees seem to be behind each other, the print gives the sensation of death, which visually expands the room. You can also place a painting on the wall behind. The trick is to choose one with the appropriate dimensions to be balanced and proportionate with the furniture. Avoid crowded gallery walls that can saturate the space. Another great way to add a focal point is to choose a lamp that catches the eye keeping in mind what we talked about a few minutes ago. By the way, guys, I have a video where you can learn about focal points and how to create them in the different areas of your home. I'll leave you the link up here and in the description box below. Use your dining room in different ways. In small spaces, the versatility is vital. Be creative in using your dining table. You can prepare the entire environment to adapt to different activities apart from eating. Look at this small dining room, it works well and has all the necessary elements for its operation and at the same time it's stylish what if i told you that it could become a spectacular work area look how versatile it is in this case instead of having one table they have two rectangular tables to be able to place both against the wall to create two workstations. Apart from looking spectacular in the dining room layout, the wall lamps illuminate the work surface perfectly. Even the painting looks stunning in both situations, and there is always enough circulation. If you live alone or with another person, this allows you to set up your dining room for guests while in your day-to-day, -day, it can serve as work or study area. If this idea works for you, first, measure the available space and evaluate all the furniture you plan to purchase. The most important thing is that they are light and that it fits comfortably for the multiple activities and positions. Use light colors and get close to the natural light. Since dining rooms are dynamic social areas, a touch of color through paintings, accent chairs, or other decorative details is ideal. However, light colors should dominate the room as they visually expand the space. Try to paint your walls in light colors such as white, light gray and neutrals, and big furniture in similar shades. Light color furniture also makes us perceive the space as more extensive, even better if it blends in with the color of the background wall. Go for low furniture. Consider choosing furniture that will allow you to see the whole room. Avoid chairs with high backs that block the view from one space to another. Choose comfortable chairs that don't exceed the height of the table too much. This allows the other elements such as the lamps, a tall plant, or the painting on the wall dominate the space. Consider choosing furniture with curved shapes. Small dining rooms can benefit from chairs with organic lines and curved backs, especially if your table is rectangular. Give lightness with acrylic and glass. If your dining room is small or it feels crowded and you don't know what to do, a great trick is to use an acrylic chair or bench. Since it's transparent, it can solve a very annoying visual saturation and make the room look larger without having to do without your seats. 
Since they are transparent, they don't have a defined style. They can look good in different styles, from the most complex like Art Deco or Glam to the simplest like Minimalism or Contemporary. Just be careful about how you use it. Look at this example. The table is made of solid natural wood. They combine it with these acrylic chairs with black legs. The area feels super light and allows us to appreciate the table as the focal point of the room. With this, I want to teach you that depending on the intention and your objective, we can manipulate the mind so that the space feels much larger just by playing with the juxtaposition of different materials. It's your turn to tell me which of these tricks you think can work best in your small dining room. Also, if you have another visual trick that works for you, let me know in a comment below so we can add it to the list. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on the upcoming design lesson. Have a beautiful week. See you in the next one.